Since the beginning of time, humans have been developing different ways of communicating with each other, whether it's writings on a cave wall or smoke signals. We've come a long way since then. In 1984, Thomas Edgerson invented the very first texting app. Now, I've never used a tech... So I decided I'm going to take a look at some of the most popular third-party texting apps that utilize the SMS feature and see if they're any good. Alright, so I downloaded five different texting apps. I got Textra, Chomp, Handsent, uh, one called Yada, and another one called Evolve SMS. So let's just start by taking a look at Textra. Hey, I'm just gonna check out the settings here and it looks like it's got some sort of a robot. Let's see if we can have a conversation with it. I'm gonna say, uh, hey, what's up? And um, it responded. Well, that's the most successful relationship I've had in a long time. The robot will help you with any questions you have about the app itself and show you how to do things. When it comes to theming the app, wow, you've got a lot of options. You can choose between your different colors, your primary colors, your accent colors. You can even change the, uh, the color of the icon app and your theme, whether you want it light or dark. So if looks are important to you, then this app is going to be awesome. I really like the customization settings for this. So there's our new uh, icon there. And then if you pull down the notification menu, they've got a really cool quick reply option where you can uh, do everything you need to within your texting within your notification menu. And you've got full access to everything you need. You've got all, even all of your emojis. You can attach files and everything. So the coolest features about this app is the quick reply stuff in your notifications menu and the customization options. But hold the phone because now we're going to take a look at Chomp SMS. This app will steal your girlfriend and rip all the teeth out of your baby brother. So let's head right into the settings and see what kind of uh, setup we're working with here. So right off the bat, you can customize a theme for this app and you can customize every little detail, the fonts, the size of the text, the colors, everything that you see on your app, you can customize in one way or another. But let's take a look at some of their pre-made themes here. And this is more along those lines of something that I would like, oh, hell yeah, it's really cute. When it comes to security, this app has the ability to set a custom passcode for it, which is really important to some people. So if you're looking for that, then this is a great app to do that. In the actual texting bit, you'll have access to all of your emojis and stuff like that. Pretty standard stuff. I do like the timed uh, messages option, so you can send a message to go out at a certain time. You can even schedule a recurring text message, so you can text your girlfriend good morning every morning at like 8 o'clock. Uh, if you don't have a girlfriend, then it's back to the texting bot from the first app. All right, next we'll take a look at Handsent. Hey, here's a popular one. I've heard of this one before. Let's start out by taking a look at the themes on this one, which is what it's kind of known for. So I really like this theme here. I'm going to go ahead and... What? I have to have it in count? Goodbye. Okay, done with that. Now let's take a look at Evolve SMS and see if this is any good. Let's open their menu. All right, and it looks like right off the bat they have a desktop messaging feature with it. Oh, and it works with Push Bullet. That is awesome. I already use Push Bullet. It's going to be awesome to receive my text messages on my desktop. They've got the same security features, but this one is going to be a little bit different with the ability to private specific conversations. Because sometimes I like to talk to different messaging bots and I don't want the other one from the first app to know. And the one last notable feature about this app is you can choose between iOS emojis or the Android emojis. Okay, let's just check out one more app called Yada SMS. And once again, you've got unlimited amounts of customization that you can do to this app to make everything look exactly how you want it. Other than that, the features are going to be pretty similar to uh, any of the other apps that we've seen in the settings section. You also have the ability to schedule outgoing SMS messages once again, which is a great feature to have. But other than that, nothing about this app is going to blow your mind. Now, of course, we don't have time to go over all of the awesome features in these apps, so just let me know in the comments what your favorite features of these particular apps are. At the end of the day, I'm not going to be switching from Hangouts. The customization feature is nice if you're somebody that likes to have your phone and apps look a particular way and you're really picky about that stuff. But overall, they all kind of offer the same features. So if you guys don't mind, if you could leave a comment letting me know what texting app do you use if you use a third-party one, and is it any good? Oh, hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, click that like button. And you know what? If we reach 600 likes, I'll consume a 30 pack of AAA batteries in the next video. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time.